Hey man, you can know you watch. Dance as killer. Wow, wow, my people. Dance as killer day here again with some more things to talk to you about. Big up and respect to each and every one. I hope that everyone are right. You see? Yes, manners and respect. Big up. Big up. Alright, now first things first. I saw a post on social media that contains words and pictures that gave me the understanding that a person made that post on social media to let people on social media know that the person somehow swallowed a needle while eating food. The post contains pictures and words that might be somewhat shocking to some of you, my viewers and subscribers. And for you to get a better understanding, I'm going to read words from that post that I saw on social media. And I want you to please bear in mind that I am only going by words and pictures that I saw in that post that have been made on social media by someone. I am not confirming anything and I am not making any claims. And to be honest, the post is somewhat surprising to me, viewers and subscribers. Is what I'm saying to you. But anyways, the post said, So my friends and family, what happened here was that I could have died on the 07-02-2022 I dropped my wife off to work for 3 in the afternoon when I passed by Guyana post office and I bought a piece of macaroni and cheese which after the first bite all was okay but the second bite that was when all break loose there was a needle in the macaroni and cheese. I felt it going down. So I stopped my car and tried to bring up in the passenger seat in front. But there was nothing. So I had to GPHC where I met up with some emergency medical technician and I explained my situation to them. And they took me to the doctor in charge. The doctor asked me questions and I gave my answers. And this is the outcome of it all. The doctor did three surgeries on me just to get the needle out. I had to do a CT scan to determine my faith. I spent days in hospital on fluid. And up to now, I can't eat nothing solid or drink anything like soup. Now, in my point of view, when that part of the post said, up to now, I assume that uh, whosoever made that post, mean that uh, up to now as to when the post had been made on social media. But anyways, that's just my point of view, see? So, another part of the post said, all have to be strained but thank god for the emt and the doctors and nurses at gphc and my family that i am alive today to speak out a needle a needle of your subscribers a needle I can only imagine someone going through something like that where a person somehow mistakenly or unknowingly swallow a needle while eating food. I hope so that this post that I've made on social media can bring some form of awareness. I hope so that this video can bring some form of awareness, viewers and subscribers. You see what I say? Yeah, man, be careful when you buy and eat food out there. <laughs> it's not even a laughing matter, yo. But be careful when you buy and eat food out there if you're in subscribers. I mean, yeah, be careful even when you are cooked, you know. Certain things must not be in any kitchen area, you know. Yeah, man, certain things like household chemicals are chemicals then, you see what I mean? And needles and certain things. Nothing there within no kitchen area. Anything can happen, you know. Mistakes do happen. You see what I say? You ever watch a movie when you're in Final Destination? Eh? You ever watch a movie there before? <laughs> I, I tell the people, you have to be very careful. See, me not perfect, you know. But me just have to try my best to survive in this world where 
I tell you, my people, see? Mm, a needle. And then first, me I hear about something like this still no viewers and subscribers. You see me, I say? Yeah, mommy, hear somebody tell me, say, that the person bite a dumpling and it's like a small needle itch up in the person's teeth and all them things. These things are dangerous situations. Yeah, I tell you. I tell you, my people. Mm. I tell you, man. Uh, all right, my people. So, let me know what to think about those words that I read from the post to you, my viewers and subscribers. You understand me? Yeah. And, um, you know, me just, uh, I make you get a good understanding about the whole situation. I also presented at least two of the pictures that I saw in the post that have been made on social media. You see what I'm saying to you? Yeah, man. And as for the person who made this post on social media, I wish nothing but the best for that person. Believe you me, because uh, for someone ever go through something like that, that can't uh, man. I tell you the truth, my people. And um, based on some words that I read in the post, that can give uh, you, my viewers and subscribers, as to where the person is from. You understand me? Yeah, the post said Guyana and the post also said GPHC. You see? Anyways, I'm going to move on to another topic. Now, I got information that a man had been shot by the police within the country of Jamaica in halfway through St. Andrew, Jamaica on the 18th of July, the year 2022. More than one news article that I read gave me the understanding that those news articles said that the man died. And one news article that I read said that the man is assumed dead. I did not get any confirmed information as to how many times the person had been shot, viewers and subscribers. And I did not get any confirmed information about the identity of the person who had been shot by the police. Now, according to more information that I got, it is said that the man is believed to be of unsound mind. Now, according to reports... Allegedly, it is said that the man who is believed to be of unsound mind attacked persons who was at that location in Halfway Tree, St. Andrew, Jamaica. And allegedly, it is said that the man who is believed to be of unsound mind threw objects and he was holding a object that is said to be a machete. It is said that security guards who was at that location were not able to manage that man or it is said that they were not able to take control of the situation and somehow police was alerted about the whole situation it is said that the police arrived at the location and allegedly it is said that the man was believed to be of unsound mind attacked the police and police opened fire hitting the man who was believed to be of unsound mind it is said that the man was taken to a hospital and according to more than one news articles that I read, I got the understanding that those news articles said that the man died. It is said that the man was causing a threat at the transport center that is located within half a tree, St. Andrew, Jamaica. I also got some more unconfirmed information about the whole situation or about certain things that allegedly happened on that day of your subscribers but those information are unconfirmed information but you can check the comment section of this video as i will let you know what i know if possible and if you ask all right um anyway so the incident caused somewhat of a traffic pile up in halfway tree st andrew jamaica and the police did their necessary procedures or did what they had to do and then allow traffic to flow after that so what viewers and subscribers is what i'm saying to you yeah so um it's really a sad situation but quite a number of times i talk about mentally ill persons out in the public you see what i'm saying to you and sometimes when i talk about uh, mentally ill ill persons out in the public is like uh, me feel a way for really and truly i say certain things but uh, i think that they can be dangerous because uh, they are mentally ill you see what i say yeah, and um, this incident is really sad, but somewhat of a proof as to what I talk about in more than one video that I posted on social media. Yes, I say. Anyways, my people, yeah, so I left it now. Big up and respect to each and everyone. Let me know what to think about the things that I said in this video. Until the next time, my name is Dancer Skiller. Big up, you see.
Hey, my youth, you know where I watch. Dance, dance, dance. 